So it's Toby again, and uh, I've built a Star Wars world. Uh, I'm mean, one of their biggest fans of Star Wars, so it's not really a surprise. We've got our radar with the, with not torches, but redstone torches, so they only glow. But uh, yeah, we have a elytra pad kind of where we're wearing one. Okay, into uh, this is the Yavin V4 Rebel base, even though there isn't much camo. This is as best as I could get it, so yeah. Lots of steps on ladders here, so this may take a while. Just don't, just don't forget, this whole thing was drilled into a mountainside, and you had to do it block by block. I only set about 24 TNT off in the whole entire thing. Okay, this is a basic hangar. As you see, I'd have to straighten out all that bit of the mountain, which was actually the hard part. You can see that, uh, and how I've made the sea join, but I've not really had enough to like level the water out. So this is like a Y wing bomber. Pretty casual. The odd Y wing bomber you'll get in Star Wars. Don't pull that lever. Y wing bombers, well, bomb stuff. And TNT is like gravel in Minecraft. When it gets set off, it drops through any block. This is an X wing with the S folds locked into just sat there. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to show you that bit because that's the bit we just came out of. <laughs> right, this is like the briefing room. It hasn't really been to save much yet, so I can't get it to do it. Because I did put lots of maps up there, but that didn't work. And some back to tanks. Yeah, it's just pressure plated, if you're wondering. This is where the cadets train. We have some weight lifts with the pad and a target. That's about it for the cadets. And some more back to tanks. Shut me out. I hate Minecraft. With their pressure plates. Okay. And as you can see, the base is so big I've had to. One sec. Random. I've had to had to do that. The base I've got so big I had to go out of the mountain a little bit. Well this is where everybody sleeps with lots of beds. Okay, so that's that bit. Echo base is over there with a few stuff, but I'm going to show that till last because it has a self-destruct and I don't want it to auto-save when I'm touring the rest. Um, no, no, the villagers ain't here. Sorry, I have to spawn some more. This may take a minute. Sorry. At least there's one. It's better than nothing. these doors. Okay, so this is like, it's a bad way to use open and close doors. Oh, come on. The odd one will, let's just let him go, I'll kill him later. So this is kind of like stormtroopers with the real attack. <laughs> They've all dropped through. Right, I'm just going to kill this, won't be me. Gonna get through there anyway. Okay, and this is just a. Oh, sorry, I've... I've. I've saved something, but it's not done it. I'm sorry, this is why I'm just so stressed today. So, this is actually a abandoned attack that we've never always made a camouflage base. You can say, you, although it's the sensors aren't that, because I'll read the sensors. Unidentified attacks. What are you doing so far away from Rebel Base? And we have a few control panels. No, just base. And it fires like a real attack does. Okay, let, if you didn't see that, let's just do it one more time. Okay. 
I'm guessing many a little of you have noticed, but there is a Star Destroyer up there. I'll show you that in a minute. So it's just a regular X Wing. Yeah, shoot. First, I'm just going to show you a quick TIE Fighter. And while we're there, you see, as it's night, the engines really glow. Have you seen Lantern? Because it's a blue glow. <coughs> okay, so we have a few maps here. I'll tell you how to do that next time. Get your whole. down here but this is some kind of, I forgot to fill it with arrows. Have a cauldron here, kind of that's a few cauldron. And now we have like <coughs> stormtrooper armor for the ground assault stormtroopers on the middle. It's this is like I say it's it's a base and I didn't say this before but it's actually ground assault because it's flying low to the ground. Okay, and this is all the heads of the dread Jedi they torn off. <laughs> nice little collection, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have a few maps in there. This is just where everybody sleeps. Not much. I mean, it isn't a big Star Destroyer. It's not like a finalizer or something. Just for the record, the finalizer's not big. It's a Star Destroyer. A few pipes. Got, at least I didn't forget to fill that one with that one. <coughs> Better than nothing. Okay, so this is Q, HQ. Hmm. Yeah. Ready? At least that was the squirrel. Two laser cannons, seriously. I mean, it has got a handful of stormtroopers, I have to admit. And uh, maps for plot and course, you know. I really like this part because it's basically like this. One plug a lever and a whole round salt will drop open. I really like that. For example, if you're a stormtrooper, just stand there, captain pulls the lever, and off you go with your elite trap. I'm using one how you know. Right, last but not least, <coughs> I saved this because it has a self-destruct echo bait. All three shield generators will lead to that. Yeah. Okay. This is where. How do the wolves keep on getting in here? Uh. So this is where everybody sleeps with the maps and all that. Back to tanks. Okay. Hopefully it won't auto save. This is the uh, reactor core. And for those of you who haven't slain the Ender Dragon, we'll see in the end. This, these are the crystals that heal the end dragon. Have to be placed on bedrock, but with even one torch, bam, they'll explode. Okay, and that is all I have for you. Hope I'll make another big build, and hopefully I'll see you next time.